And welcome to Steve the Magician and Friends. I'm Steve the Magician, and today the show is all about hankies. Hang on a sec. <gasps> I didn't really put a boogie in it. I just put a magic wand in it. See? No boogie there. All right. You can go now. Bye. <laughs> Whoops. Okay. So, as I was saying, today's show is all about hankies, and it's not just about normal hankies, it's about magic hankies. And I'm going to teach you how to do a really cool trick with a hanky that will make all your family and friends go, oh boy, it's going to be lots of fun. And of course, as always, you need to watch out for the magic hat, because when the magic hat comes, you need to count it, and then at the end of the show, we, oh, here it is now. <laughs> There's the magic hat, okay? That's what it looks like. Remember to look out for it and count it, and at the end of the show, we'll see how many times we've got it. That's enough of that. But, Oops. <laughs> but for now, let's get going with some magic. It's time for magic. Okay, so today I've got three hankies and they're all the colors of the traffic lights. I'll show you. We've got a red hanky. What do you do when you see a red light? You stop. That's right. Red for stop. And then we've got an orange hanky. What do you do when you see an orange traffic light? You slow down. That's right. And what do you do when you see a per... A, what do you... What do you do when you see a purple traffic light? You go to the doctor. Oh boy. All right. So we've got red, orange, and purple. Now what we're going to do is we're going to put them into this tube and then we're going to blow them out the end and they'll come out all joined together. Super cool, super fun. All right. So we will start with the red one. All right. Because red means stop. No, it doesn't. It just means stop if it's a traffic light. But this isn't a traffic light. This is a hanky. All right. And then orange. If you see an orange traffic light, you slow down. All right. But we're not going to slow down because this isn't a traffic light. It's a hanky. All right. We pop that in there like that. And then we get the purple one. And we put that in. If you see a purple traffic light, you go to the doctor because there's no such thing as a purple traffic light. All right. So we'll put that one in there as well. Poke that all the way in there. Da -da -da. Poke that all the way in. <laughs> all right. Pa hang on, hang on. Let's just start that again. Oh. Maybe I shouldn't poke them all the way in. All right, let's start. Red, oh, don't go away. Red, red traffic light, stop. But we're not doing traffic lights, we're doing hankies. We put the red one in there. In you go, all the way in. All right, we get the orange traffic light. Oh, stop running away, Mr. Magic Wand. We get the orange traffic light. When you see an orange traffic light, you slow down. That's right, we put that one in there like that. All right, and we get the purple traffic light. No, we get the purple hanky, because if you see a purple traffic light, you need to go to the doctor. That's right. Okay, now all we do is we blow it out here, and they come out, and they're all joined together. Here we go. Are you ready? <gasps> there we go. The, oh. We forgot to say the magic word. All right, all right. Let's try it again. Oh, boy. Okay, so we start with the red one. And what do you do when you see a red traffic light? You stop. That's right. But we're not stopping. We get the orange one. What do you do when you see an orange traffic light? You what? That's right. You slow down. All right. In there like that. Don't you dare try and sneak out the other end. All right. But you got to get in there. In, in, in. Oh, boy. You're not listening to me. Get in. All right, maybe we will use this a little bit. Poke you in a bit more. There we go. All right. And we get the uh, the purple one. All right. And what do you do when you see a purple traffic light? You what? That's right. You go to the doctor because there's no such thing. All right. In. All the way in. All the way in there. Beautiful. All right. Let's try it with the magic words. First of all, a sprinkle of the magic wand. Huh. 
And now those magic words, are you ready? A wiggle your fingers, a wiggle your thumbs, that's the way the magic comes. Let's see if it works this time. Are we ready? Here we go. <gasps> it worked. Look at that. Well done. There you go. That is the hankies tying themselves together. All right. I've got other things to do. I'll catch up with you soon. So for today's things to do, I'm going to show you how to do a really cool magic trick with a hanky. But first of all, let me introduce to you the most daring escape artist of our times, Mr. Hanky. Mr. Hanky has been known to get out of the most daring and dangerous places all in one piece. He's even fought off colds in the middle of winter. Now, today, Mr. Hanky is going to escape from the most hardest place of all, pure glass. Now this glass can hold hot water, it can hold cold water, it can even hold ice cream. But today the question is, can it hold Mr. Hanky the escape artist? Mr. Hanky, before we put you into the glass, are there any words that you'd like to say? No, <laughs> he's a hanky of very few words. All right, Mr. Hanky, let's get you into that glass. In you go, squashing down all the way down. We don't want you to try and sneak out before we've even begun. Wonderful. All right. Now, to make sure he cannot escape, we are also using today <laughs> the shroud of a tea towel. This tea towel is known to dry the most wet dishes, but today it's going to hold Mr. Hanky, the escape artist, in place. Are you ready? All right, here we go. Underneath there we go, like that, cover it up, and we're going to put a rubber band around it just to make double sure he cannot escape. There we go. Mr. Hanky, are you okay? He's still a man of very few words. Okay. Two taps on the top, one tap on the bottom, and on the count of three, one, two, three. Mr. Hanky rides again. Wowsy, wowsy, wowsies. Look at that. Now, would you like to know how to do it? I'll show you right now. Okay, so to do this trick, you need a hanky. Any sort of hanky will do. This is a nice big silk colorful hanky, but you can use a normal hanky, you can use a tea towel, you can use anything. You also need, and this is the most important part, a glass, but the glass needs to be straight. So the same width at the top as what it is at the bottom. And you'll see why very soon, but it's important to have the sides as straight as possible, okay? The other thing you need is something to cover the glass with. I use this old tea towel. You can use anything as long as it covers it nicely and you can't see through it. And I always also like to use a rubber band. It just adds a little bit more as you seal in Mr. Hanky in the glass, okay? So that's what you need. Now let's see how you do it. So obviously the first thing you do is you take your glass and you put your hanky or your tea towel, whatever it is, in there. Now when you put that in there, make sure it goes all the way down, isn't trying to sneak out the top at all there. Otherwise it looks a little bit sus. And the other thing is you need to be able to turn it upside down and it's not gonna fall out. So if it falls out, you need to find either a smaller glass or a better hanky, a slightly bigger hanky or something that's going to stick inside there a little bit more. Okay, so we get it like that, then we're going to hold it, you need to hold it at the bottom, just like that, okay? And the reason we do that is, as we bring up the tea towel or whatever it is to cover it, we're going to just release a little bit and watch what happens. The glass falls down like that. Now, so what we do is we put, bring up this and as we bring this up, it goes like that. We then put the tea towel over the top of it, like that. And in actual fact, as you can see here, the glass is open at the bottom. That's the trick. Okay, we then put the rubber band on and everybody thinks that the, that the hole of the glass, the hole is at the top still, but it's not, it's at the bottom. We give a tap on the top. Now when you give a tap on the top, just give a tap on the side like that. 
like that. Don't worry about tapping the top because if you tap the top, it should go in. So one, two on the side and then underneath and I just give a little click on the side of the glass and then I reach into the glass <laughs> and I pull the hanky out. Okay. Now when we go to undo everything, we do exactly the same thing. We hold the glass at the bottom like this and as we take it off, whoop, we just let it slide around like that. So the audience doesn't see that. That all happens behind the hanky, the, behind the tea towel like this. Whoop. So we have it like that, and as we take it off, I'll show you from this side, as we take it off, we go, oh, ta -da. simple as that. It's that much fun though. And I tell you, this was one of the first tricks I ever learned, and I remember performing it as well at my first ever magic show. Have lots and lots of fun with this, and maybe practice a little bit and make sure that the hanky does fit inside the glass, and you'll be right to go. It's pretty easy. Hey Horace, have you seen Lewis at all today? He's outside, in the garden. Oh, I haven't seen him all... Yeah, I'd love it if you could go and tell him to come inside. Could you do that? That'd be great. Here you go. Yeah, you run out there. That's the way. Don't forget to close the door. Good boy. Okay, maybe while we're waiting for Lewis to come back in, we can have a look and see how many times we saw the magic hat this show. All right, let's have a look. So the first time, is at the very start of course when uh, I showed it to you and I threw it away <laughs> and then the next oh hey hello Lewis come on up you come <laughs> good boy yeah how you going good awesome what have you been doing you've been out in the garden all day oh that's lovely it's sunny outside Lewis we're just looking to see how many times we saw the magic hat all right let's have a look so the first time that was one was when uh, when I showed it to everybody at the start. Let's have a look. Is there another time? That, that's you. Second time is with Lewis after, just after that, yeah? And then the, the third time is with you again? And that's just after we did the magic trick, yeah? With the hankies. There's no more times? How do you know that? Because you buried the magic hat in the garden? Lewis, you're not meant to bury the magic hat. It's not a bone, is it? No, you silly duffer. Okay, well anyway, I hope you all had lots and lots of fun. Remember to practice the magic tricks before you do them, but make sure you share them with your family and friends, because that's what magic's all about. Also, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe, and that way you don't miss out on any more videos, and you can always catch up, yeah? All right, have lots of fun, keep smiling, stay safe, and we'll see you next time. Now, Lewis, I've got to tell you, you can't go bearing bones. Can we, uh, bearing hats, can we go?